Have a go at it. Why, first contestant, come in, please. There we go. There we go. And there's Diddy Bird. And there's a truck. And there we go. You have a seat, young man. And pull him real close to me. Will you tell, um... Hmm? All right. Say thank you, Gary. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, um, will you tell us... Thank you. That's absolutely right. Will you tell us what your names are and where you're from? I'm Clifton Kendrick. Uh, my big brother is Tim Timothy Michael, and I'm from Park Forest, Illinois. And this is Timothy, and this is Clifton. Now, before I ask each of these boys to whisper their secret, let me say that I know that long after I have retired and I look back on this show, the memory of this secret will always be one of the brightest ones in my whole entire time. Cliff, if you whisper your secret to me first, we'll show it at the same time to our audience at home. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. That's quite impressive. Now, Timothy, will you tell me what your Timothy, will you tell me what your secret is? <laughs> all right. Now you know why I say it's one of my favorites of all time. <laughs> Final the clue to Clifton's. The clue to Clifton's and Timothy's secret concerns something they each did. We'll start the questioning with uh, Bess, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, Timothy loves blondes because he's been flirting outrageously with Betsy. <laughs> uh, Cliff, this thing that both of you did, uh, did you do it at the same time? <laughs> no. No, at different times. Uh, were there any other people involved except the two of you? Just the two of you, right? Yes. Did it have to do with mother and dad in any way? No. <laughs> All right, there's twenty dollars down, sixty dollars to go, and go for these to Bill Cullen. Clifton, I'm sorry, I didn't hear any of your answers. I'm watching Timothy. He's, he's catching flies over there. <laughs> <laughs> For the benefit of our non-theatrical audience, I will say it's an old theatrical term, catching flies, meaning to make faces while other people are talking into the <laughs> <laughs> All right, William. Uh, Clifton, this, uh, this thing that the two of you did, was it identical? Did you both do the same thing? No, sir. Uh, did you do it at different times? You at uh, a particular age and Timothy at the same age, for instance? Well, it was at different times, but not that... Uh, not as you described it. Was this a good thing you did, Clifton? I mean, are you proud of it? What Clifton did? Yeah. Yes. Are you proud of what Timothy did? No. <laughs> All right, that's with $40 down, $40 to go, and we go to Betsy Palmer. Oh, I wish I could do that, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Ah, uh, Timothy. No, Timothy can't answer, can you, Timothy? Clifton, <laughs> did this have anything to do, only because of the way the audience reacts when Bill said flies, with baseball. No. <laughs> I thought it had something to do with the pirates. I like to for nothing. Ah, uh, let's see. Did your brother do it? <laughs> You're spitting all over the place. That's his. Did you know that? At his age, that's his privilege. You <laughs> said <laughs> Of course, you're laughing. You're, you're laughing. You're out of range. <laughs> All right, we've lost $60, $20 to go, and we go to Henry Morgan, please. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you know what he's doing? Uh, <laughs> there, that charmer. Uh, <laughs> was there anything... <laughs> Gary, let's just talk like... <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> I want to give him a little ammunition. He's running out of spit. <laughs> yes, but there was.
I just think, you know, you can train in this business for a hundred years and bring in a charm boy like that. <laughs> we have no talent at all. <laughs> now, let me tell you his secret. Now, young Clifton here is a very conscientious student, so when he was given an assignment by his biology teacher, he really worked at it. He spent a month collecting 40 different insects. Why? That's his part of the secret. What do you think his part of the secret yeah, is? Yeah. <laughs> collection of 40 bugs, oh. butterflies, everything. 40 bugs. 40 bugs. What? what? Just a minute, what was it? What? What'd you eat? Why? Oh, you want the lollipop? It's not as habit, not as habit forming as bugs, but you can <laughs> have it if you want. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, this is a charming story. As I say, this young man conscientiously made, made a comprehensive, there you go a comprehensive collection of 40 bugs, and the young man ate them. Mrs. Kendrick out here to hear about this story. Mrs. Kendrick, will you come out, please? <laughs> How did he get hold of the collection of bugs? Well, he's a mountain climber. That's about all I can say. They're on a high shelf. And he got them, and when you came into the room, there he was sitting with an empty tray. No, he was popping the stink bug into his mouth. <laughs> and I asked him, no, no, Timmy, you didn't eat the bugs. And he said, oh, bugs, good, good, good bugs. <laughs> and he ate every last one of them, huh? All but the butterfly wings and the rear end of the beetle. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't eat them. be a gourmet. That's the best part. You missed it. You missed it. Well, it's certainly been a joy having you here with us. And we have a surprise for the young man over here. As soon as I can find the statement, where is it? Here we go. Surprise for you, Cliff. I want to make sure I had my facts right. When the Department of Entomology of the American Museum of Natural History heard of your loss, they offered to send you a complete collection of insects. They're on their way to you at home. I hope from now on, Timmy's appetite won't bug you. And thank you, Mrs. Kelly. <laughs> <Kendrick. laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. Stay tuned, there's more black and white overnight coming.